the first month of 2024 was full of various human rights events, the EU adopts a new migration pact that may complicate the asylum procedure. Meanwhile, the European Court of Justice in Luxembourg recognized violence against women as a ground for asylum. Let's take a closer look at these and other news with Human Constante's human rights team. Let me remind you that, on the cartoon avatar of human rights defender Nastal Wuke, who was sentenced to seven years in prison solely for her human rights activities. Nastal's Instagram started publishing her prison reform project, which she wrote in the summer of 2023, when she was under investigation in the pre-trial detention center. To read the reform project, subscribe to her Instagram page with Nastal.com. So this year, more than 50 countries around the world will hold parliamentary or presidential elections. Digital technologies are increasingly influencing the pre-election campaign and the course of the election campaign. A lot of deepfakes and other controversial content made with A is appearing on, or the major social networks are ready to confront deepfakes and other misinformation. Read in our material. The link is in the video description. Many people already know Cyber Beaver, a super specialist yeah. in digital security. He took to our YouTube from his office to share tips with teens on how to behave in the online space. Watch the first episode of the cartoon at the active link in the upper corner of the screen. The year 2023 has passed, but the shock content remains. The experts of Human Constanta summarized the statistics of persecution in Belarus on anti-extremist motives. Here are some frightening statistics. In 2023, at least 3,091 cases on administrative offences under extremist articles were initiated. That's twice as many as in 2022. In 2023 alone, 160 people were recognized as involved in terrorist activities. More than 1,700 new extremist materials. Still one new extremist formation. And these are not all the figures. You can read the full statistics in our Instagram account. Take care of yourselves and don't forget about those around you. Solidarity is stronger than repression. Human Constanta experts have analyzed in detail whether the new immigration package will complicate access to a fair asylum procedure. Read the detailed analysis of the document in the article on our website. The link is below this video. Human Constanta's public reception for fears for the protection of the rights of foreign citizens and stateless persons in Belarus published a series of videos. In the first memo, you can learn how to legalize in Belarus. The second video details how to get a job for foreign citizens and stateless persons in Belarus. Please, if you know people for whom this information may be relevant, share this video with them. The active link to the video memo is at the top of the screen. The Luxembourg-based European Court of Justice has ruled that women should fear for at risk of physical or mental violence, including sexual and domestic violence, because of their gender in their country of origin can seek and receive international protection. Read why this is an important an achievement from a human rights perspective in an article on our website. The link is below the video. New analytics for July-September 2020 history identifies the most significant events and news in sports through the lens of international human rights standards and is already on the website. The link is below this video. As always, it has been a pleasure to spend this time with you. The news audience is growing, which means more people are learning about human rights. To contribute to this process, leave comments. See you next month. <laughs>